So this woman, let's call her Mirage, she gets into a fight with her neighbor over a fence. Then one day, her neighbor was suddenly sawing the fence down. So Mirage takes this video of it and she posts it to TikTok with the caption, our neighbor has taken our fence down without any papers. And this video blows up because people are like, hell yeah, drama. And Mirage keeps posting updates about it. Like her family fighting with the woman. How do you know I don't have a seven? And things getting ugly, almost physical. No, what the f are you trying to cut me with a chainsaw? So these videos catch on with the TikTok crowd and the internet is pretty united against the neighbor who we'll call Fence Lady. But then one day, Fence Lady hears about all this backlash she's getting online and she makes a TikTok account of her own and she actually makes her username Fence Lady, which is just hilarious. So Fence Lady decides to get on camera and explain her her side of the story. I'd like to clear up some confusion. And she shows that the fence they're fighting over is extremely close to her house, which you can see here. And because of that, she can't do repairs on her house and stuff. And to be fair, that fence do be really close. Then the fence lady says she got a government survey, which shows the fence is technically on her property. And she eventually busts it out to prove it. And so Mirage's original claim of our neighbor has taken down our fence without any papers allegedly wasn't true. Liar! And also in a crazy ironic twist, while fence lady is filming the very video trying to explain her side of the story, Mirage's sister sprays her with a water Hose. Then, footage surfaced of Mirage's younger sister insisting that Fence Lady speak English. We're gonna speak English and then come back to me. We're gonna speak English. And people see all this, and I swear the entire internet immediately switches sides. I'm on Team Fence Lady! We love Fence Lady! I try and stay neutral on such matters. So then, Mirage starts getting backlash. You guys are feeling bad for her, but you guys don't know the whole story. So then she posts sort of a long explanation slash non-apology, which you can see here. But at this point, people felt lied to. So they were just not having it. Tiffany, I think it's time for you to stop. And eventually Mirage does stop. She deletes all of her videos calling Fence Lady out. And Fence Lady was able to have the fence moved over. Looks like about 12 inches. So she can now do repairs on her house and whatnot. And all this happened a few months ago in Toronto. So shout out to Toronto.